Okay, so let's talk about uh, my dance lessons. I started taking dance lessons over here at Fred Astaire Dance Studio. Um, I've always wanted to take dance lessons uh, for a couple reasons, first of all. I've always liked dancing, right? I've liked DDR. I've liked just dancing around. But I'm one of those kind of people who... Like, I'm never confident enough to go and out and do it myself. Like, for instance, I've, like, messed around with the drums. I've been playing drums, like, you know, casually around for a while. But I've never been one of those people who, like, goes to Guitar Center and there's a drum set on there. And they're just like, dunk a dunk a dunk And, like, you know, some people you can tell, like, they're really high skill levels. Like, okay, cool. I can see how he's, like, confident enough to go, just go sit on a drum set and do that. And then there's some people who are like, I see and I'm like, dude, that guy's not that good. I'm probably just as good as him. But they have the confidence to just go there and play in front of people and not like, this has got to be an Asian thing because Asians are always judging people. We're always like, really? Seriously? You're you're going to play in front of everybody? Oh, seriously? You're, you're going to wear that? Asians are so like that. It's been ingrained in my mind to wear... Like, I'm always constantly thinking people are talking shit about me, which is one of the hurdles that I have, like, when when doing stuff like dance or, like, singing or playing drums. So, the next step, you know, after me jumping out of a plane, I wanted to start, like, opening myself up. I, people, It's funny because people say, oh, David, you're really outgoing. You're a really outgoing person. Uh, I would think that you're, like, totally fine being in front of a camera or being in front of an audience, but totally not totally, totally. I'm still like partially that shy Asian kid that I always was in middle school and high school. So the reason why I started taking dance classes is one, because I always wanted to, you, have you ever seen those, like those dances and the waltzes and the, and the, you know, cha-chas and everything that has a very like specific, like formula and, 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 uh, what's the word? Anyway, the specific structure. There you go. That's the word. They have a specific structure that you have to kind of follow. And I've always been interested in that kind of thing because it's very cool. You can't just... It's not like dance covers, right? It's not like you go out, you just do some dance covers and dance around and I cover... You know, it's not like that. It, so, one, I wanted to do that. And two, I wanted to get over the fear of either, one, dancing with strangers... Because this is like, the classes I'm taking are like social dance. So like, the theory is to learn enough about a dance that you can go to like a dance club and then just meet somebody and be like, okay, hey, you want to go dance? And then you, you're out there and you know, you're doing the, the dance that, you know, whatever structure you're supposed to follow. And you just kind of improv it as you go, kind of like the, like jazz improv. So yeah, the fear of going and dancing with someone that you don't know you know, and having to be close to them and worried about stepping on their feet, you know, all those little things. And I, I like, I, when I get nervous, I sweat profusely. So, you know, like just getting over all that stuff. And then two is performing in front of people because that's as outgoing as I am and as, out, as much as I love to entertain people and make people laugh, like going in front of a crowd that you don't know I've done it successfully before, like in talent shows in high school or like, you know, like uh, whatever clubs and stuff like that. But I, but that's not something you can really like do on a regular basis unless you seek it out, right? You actually have to put yourself in the position to where you're like constantly having to perform in front of people. Like I've had friends. I've had friends. There's a friend of mine, Mike, and he's like totally fine with just making a fool of himself and like jumping in front of the camera and just like ah and doing that stuff i can't do that i i really can't you know it has to be a very comfortable setting you know when i used to do 4pp i could do that because it was a comfortable setting it was among friends yeah there was a camera rolling but it's just a camera it's not like in front of like an audience right cuz the audience is kind of not there i'm just with my friends so yeah so that that's the reason why i started taking dance classes because um, I wanted to do that. And it's, it's awesome because I was going to say, I love my dance classes so far because, uh, I've taken basically three private lessons and those were to just kind of 
familiarize yourself with the structure. It's like, oh, here's here's the certain dance you can do. Okay, now this is when this is when you do the turn. The, you know, and this is how you signal to let your partner know that you're doing a turn. And it's all it's all stuff that you just kind of do on a fl on the fly. So imagine you're there's a structure. It's like step left, step right, step left, step right. Now it, when before you go left, if you want them to turn, you lift your hand up, and then that's the signal for them to turn. And you just within that structure you keep going it, it kind of reminds me of like para para you know like if you're doing the para para like you're you're always doing step 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 and then you you do the hand motions and then there's certain times you can break out of that structure right and that's kind of what i'm learning the basics right now and the this the classes have been super fun and i've i've specifically tried to break it up with two different instructors because i don't want to get comfortable with one instructor and then all of a sudden you have to go dance with somebody else and you're completely because that's what they tell you especially when you uh when you're learning like languages they tell you to listen to other people speak it because when you listen to from one teacher all the time you get used to how that teacher talks how that teacher uh teacher uh intonates how they you know you get used to them and so you might go to somebody else and they're saying the exact same thing, but because you're just so used to one person, you can't understand what they're saying. So yeah, so I specifically broke it up. I have two different instructors. Uh, do I want to say their names? One Yvette, one Jocelyn. So I've been like having to do the dance with different people, which is like, you know, a way to like speed up your like nervousness, getting over the, your nervousness. And so yesterday was my first um, like social party thing. So they have this thing on every th so often on Thursdays where it's like a social party and you just go to the party and there's other uh, students and it's like, okay, let's dance. And then what's so great about it is it's such a family atmosphere at this place because like everybody kind of knows everybody and, you know, there's no like, you know, there's some old people, there's some young people, there's some instructors, there's some people who are like, you know, it's just a mix of people. And But everybody's there because they have the common goal of like, hey, let's just dance. I just want to dance. I want to have fun. There's no embarrassment. If you fuck up, you fuck up. Who cares? You know? And like, you know, so everybody's kind of like, some people are kind of nervous, but it's... And this is the thing I was always scared about. I hated getting called on in class. When I was in class, when I was in high school, like I was like, God, don't pick me. Don't pick me. Don't pick me. And yesterday was like pretty much everybody knew I was new. And then I'm sitting there on the side. And then I see somebody like, and I'm like, oh, God, they're going to come and ask me to dance. And that's like the, the entire night. That was the entire night. It's just people walking up to me like, hey, nice to meet you. I heard you're new. Do you want to go do the cha-cha? And I'm like, you know, there's part of you that wants to say no. Like, oh, no, that's okay. Thanks. But, I mean, that's the whole point of me taking this class, right? Is not to be like that. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's, basically, that's basically me the entire night. Just having to dance with all these different people uh, and with dances that I totally suck at. You know, and I love it, dude. I love it because everybody's just so, you know, it'd be different if I was just in some random club meeting people and people are like, you can't dance this, man. You suck. But like the the environment at these dance at this dance studio is so great that it's just like, I mean, what other safer way or encouragement way is there to go about this? So I really loved it. And then on top of that, too, you know, the social dance stuff, then they also had like a performance where... Uh, they have a next week. They have a performance in Galveston where everybody's gonna go. It's like certain students are gonna go and perform in front of a live audience. But before they do that, they do it. We do it like you know in house at home in the studio. You perform in front of people. You know you kind of get some of the jitters out. You you know you know just a step before you get to the big leagues, kind of the triple A, the triple A, right? And like. I mean, that's the goal of me taking dance lessons is to eventually go perform, right? So I was like, hey, so when's the next one? They're like, oh, it's next week. I was like, uh, probably not going to be good, ready to dance by next week. But what's the next after that? And they're like, hmm, October 16th. I'm like, okay, okay. That's, that's far, but not too far that I can't handle it. 
Let's go for it. October 16th, Starlight. Mark it on your calendars. I'm going to go perform in front of people. <sighs> Some sort of original dance routine. They're going to come up with it. I start practice next week. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm getting excited. And then I'm going to have to perform it in front of the class. And I mean, I'm excited. I'll post the video. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I took video from last night's thing. But my stupid GoPro is messed up. And it always stops like a minute into the recording. And then I have to reset it before it starts recording. And I forgot that last night. So like my footage from last night is totally screwed. Except for what I got on my cell phone at the end. <sighs> but yeah, wish me luck, guys. That's that's the next step in my uh, progression. <laughs> Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.